So I deal with that. I don't know if you can keep doing this or will you just... Wow! <laughs> anyway, bickering aside. Too much attitude. I am, I am quite bossy. Good morning everybody. It's actually warmer to sit out here than it is to be on our boat right now. This week I think we're going to focus on getting the last piece of plywood up on the ceiling and then the fire so it's much more bearable to work and to uh, hopefully move in soon. What do you say? Tidy first. All that out of the way. Oh. You can't really tell where it's freezing. So we ended last week's video of me being a bit confused about where I'm running the solar cables down through, whether it be the mushroom vent or another mount. I've picked my brain, I just can't think how I can get it to work through the mushroom vent with the liner and stuff once fixed that. So I'm gonna put this on now and then we can put the ceiling up. Can I have some help? Please. Try and size up the piece of wood. I know you don't want to, but like that is the next thing we're doing. Let's measure it and see how much we'll cut off then. Yeah. Right, what's the grommet dries? Clearing back spray foam here so we can put some extra battens for the next ship plywood to come across. And sort of similar here, gonna put some battens like we did at the other end. And we've got to try and plug cake. Something to go in. Bilge pump. I can't remember what we said we were going to do here. Mm? We taking this bit out? Yeah. That's coming out. <gasps> <laughs> I forgot it's not fixed to anything. <laughs> and you're going to put another bit of wood there, aren't you? Yeah. We're doing it after the plywood's up or now? I can't remember. <laughs> Who's in charge here? Yeah, it's an, it always sounds worse when you hit your head. Yes, but I hit it yesterday coming in from that door and then tried to save a spider. There's no spider. Oh, he's really staying there. And then I get repaid when I head back. I still door. Grommet is as good as dried. I'm worried if we don't crack on this, it's gonna rain, so. Cool. No, what in there? How are you gonna keep these from getting wet and put the snow on? The kit there are waterproof anyway, but I'll put a little bag under. Oh. Well, they're waterproof when they're done up. I guess I could connect them together and they're waterproof. 
much don't connect that to a battery. Why? Short circuit. Oh, the grommet's moving. Oh, well. hmm? The grommet was moving. It's just too cold. What, it's not sticking? Or we're just being impatient? When we dry, it's quite quick, to be fair. At least I'm going to have to sit up here and hold it until it sets. going to get it for now. Now Joe is going to go from the top to draw a hole. <laughs> You're right. <No. laughs> going to drill a hole or draw a hole, sorry, for the fireplace. We haven't got a big enough cork. <laughs> what are you doing? And then we need to draw this. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I get a ruler or something to... That's going to be boxed in there and it's literally... From there, I guess I can mark it with a pencil where that comes to. Dark. Yeah, it's getting a bit dark, getting a bit tired, a bit dehydrated. We'll be back in the morning. Yay. Good morning, afternoon. We've come across, because I'm more confused than ever about the log burner installation. So I'm here to do some measurements to see what size boards we need. Whilst I'm doing that, then he's going to paint the ceiling. Yay! Before we do that, I've got to take all the mushrooms off. away and um oh, it's gonna look so nice there's a couple of steps we've got to do before yeah we're a little way off yeah but slowly again well. i've been studying hitas who sort of regulates log burners and stuff but because it's in a narrow boat you're not bound by them but it's recommended and obviously we want to be as safe as possible well sensibly possible it's a bit of common sense really so, some of them is like this far out, which wouldn't look silly in a normal house if you're in a living room, but obviously in here you don't want it to be Yeah, the unprotected the surfaces need to be 800 mil out, which means the burner would come out to like here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I settled for <coughs> calcium silicate board, CS board, for 
around the burner to the back. There's some hardy backer, which I've already bought, which is like a tile backer, which you can put on the front of that with an air gap. I can't, I need to relook what way around it goes, but I think board, air gap, tile backer, I think. And then we're having a little wall to the side here, a little distance away, which is going to be the hardy backer board with tiles on it. It's all going to be tiled. And then when we come up to here, tile backer board, air gap, or air gap, tile backer board, tiles. No, sorry, stainless steel. Up and then the only thing I've got to figure out here is that goes up. I've got to see whether we need some sort of protection on top of the plywood. Do some studying later on. Now we have some holes to fill. Yeah, quite a few on bits. That was a bit of guesswork where the screw was going. <laughs> <laughs> we drew a line which meets up from here, timber. To here, it, timber. Was Danny was a little bit off on our line, in all fairness, a couple mil, but we stayed to this side of it. And do you think we could find where the screw would bite? And it's still not really done it very well. <laughs> um, it's actually getting a bit dark, isn't it? So we're going to crack on with filling. Look how beautiful the fire looks, though. I'm so happy with it. It's cute, isn't it? We still obviously got some steps so to go, but yeah. So well, I didn't say that you've got to build a hearth as well, and part of the regulations is supposed to come out. Wait, hang on, let me get the tape. Let me get the tape for you. It's supposed to come out from the front of the burner. I don't know if you'd count that bit or here, but even to here it needed to be 250 mil, I believe, so about there, which is cute. You're probably, it's more of a health hazard tripping over, isn't it? But if you have it any shorter, you need to create a lip, like an upright, which is definitely the better option, really, for us. It's just a, if anything falls out of it, if you've got it open, which it, we can, it contains itself within the hearth. I'm using the tile board for that. Morning. Last day in the marina today. Aww. <laughs> we're just having a bit I'm of a sad. last minute clear out. Having a last minute clear out and then we're moving later on. Then we can do some painting. I can paint the ceiling. A bit excited. All I'm right. going to try and do two coats, I think. What do you think? I'm a bit worried about this being here and Joe says just paint around it, but... Yeah, right, right. Only water base. All right, I'm a bit of a tight yet. I'll leave you with Danny. Whilst Danny's busy painting, I'm going to crack on and try and give us some more privacy via curtain rails. Got some 12 mil dowel, I think. And make up some mounts with these brass pipe wall mount bracket things. What have you got? Uh, holding copper pipe, mostly, I believe, anyway. Yay or nay? Yeah, oh, that's better. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Cute. Next. Lost you for a couple of hours. I have finished painting the ceiling and we also went and said our goodbyes to Uncle Dave and people and we went and looked at mattresses um 
I'm not sure if they're going to fit. All the ones we were looking at are spring ones, so they don't fold. The IKEA ones, which we're used to, come rolled up, but they don't do them in a small double, so that's to be decided. I have to wrestle it on here. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, we're moving out now. I'm sad. It's almost getting dark as well, so it's going to be fun. Um, on. How cute do the curtains look, though? Yeah, oh, yeah, they look. Look. Looks like a proper little room if you look from here. Bye Marina. Been nice knowing ya. As you can see, it's very dark. It's only actually five o'clock, but yeah. How was your first mooring? I'm a bit rusty. Yeah. Definitely a bit rusty. This one's not long enough to go back to the boat. Right, see you in the morning. Good morning. morning. Now, as comfy and cosy as it was in the marina, it's so nice to be back out on the canal. I'm saying this because it's not raining at the minute, but... Oh, oh. <laughs> the uh, not so tight lasted overnight as well, which was good. I forgot how scary it is walking across a plank and how distracted they get along the canal. We just had a cup of tea. Although you see like the swans and the ducks in the marina, it's definitely not the same as being out on the canal. They're very distracting. What have you got there? This is a piece of stainless steel. Yeah. And this is going to go on the top half where the fire is. Behind so the flue. Behind the flue. Oh my gosh. So this is going to go like this. On top of some backer board. Like that. Oh, that looks cute. Did you put it out today? Um, we'll do the tile board. Let's see, we, mainly we come over for a half day because I've got an MOT on Barry, his first MOT since I've owned him on Tuesday. It's tomorrow, not tomorrow. Too good. <laughs> yeah, there's a few bits. He's got like crazy citron disease in the electric, so a couple lights flag up now and again. So I need to go home wiring a new horn. So we're only here for a half day, and the main reason we come over is to finish off blinds, the curtains. Yeah. And now then he's got me looking at stainless. Can we do the blind curtains first and yeah. then see All right, then. what time we've got? Then got I've night got too. nights as well, so we can't see over for too long, but it's all just very exciting now. No, don't peel it off! Oh, is it brushed? Don't peel it off, don't peel it off. Put it back. Brushed. Yeah, okay, put it back. You all right then? Yeah. Just never assume. I was assuming that all windows are the same. They are, but it's always worth checking. Top tip. <laughs> <laughs> right, cutting these into 700 mil again. Why is the toilet here, Joe? I moved it for a bit of privacy by my curtains because I forgot you're like sat on the throne. And if anyone looks through a window, they're going to see me. We'll show you an example of what it looks like in a minute. No, we won't. Well, it's looking rather cute in here now. This is the kitchen. We were going to go for blinds, but 
just how cold it is on here. I know we haven't got the heat in yet. We just thought, oh, it's going to let out a lot of heat, but Might yeah. Might well anyway, won't we? Yeah, really cute. And then we're just waiting for some frosting on those ones, which will be in the bathroom. Right, we're going home because Joe's worrying about Barry. Right, Go yeah. fit a horn. Good morning, friends. Good morning. It's been a couple of days or a few days since we've both been over here together. I popped over yesterday to just check up on it because obviously now we're on the canal again. It's a bit more of a worry leaving stuff over here. Um, not that we leave anything on here overnight anyway, but just our general belongings like log burner, which is quite precious to us. Um, today's first task is going to be putting the mushrooms back on properly whilst it's somewhat dry. Danny's just cleared loads of leaves off the roof because it's is it autumn or winter now? Autumn. Autumn, because it's autumn. Is it, actually? <laughs> I got clue. Grand total of three mushrooms I managed to fit before it started raining. So now we're stuck inside. I'm gonna make a start on the hearth for the log burner. I'm gonna use some tile board that I bought. A product called Hardy Backer, the 12 mil one, which is also a fire board. Or it's used as a fire board, you can use that on the base. Then we're gonna tile it. So we're just gonna space out the tiles to see if we can make it exactly the size of four tiles plus a bit for your uh, grout and whatnot. How's that even? It's done it on the bit that you didn't want it to go. Oh, it's because of bloody. Timber, you... Timber's in the wrong place. Oh. No. Take two. Lunch now to see this other layer. What's it called? CS board, calcium silica. It's like just a more efficient version. That's thick. Yeah, real thick. It's quite fragile. Huh? Quite fragile. It's quite fragile, isn't it? Oh, I cut. Oh, it snapped. Oh. Huh? It snapped. <sighs> what? Can you not use it? Just in case you've got a claim on. Well, it will be evidence, wouldn't you, viewers? You've seen this and do that. Oh, both boards are snapped in half. That's great. So I deal with that. Well, we're just going to use it. Okay. Time is of the essence. I don't think thermally it will... It's not like this is the only layer. Are we putting this one on? No, I'm just sizing oh. that. It should be a little bit narrower than that because it's 600 mil ish Yeah, so it'll be going on like that. But with strips behind that for to create an air gap mm -hmm. and then a thin piece of tile backer on the front of that. There. Sorry. <laughs> you should have stuck at your taekwondo. Yeah. I, I mean I just want to get a brazen at the moment, I could probably try and smash it, but I think because of the length of it, I'm going to snap one end, yeah. fine, and it's just going to... Cut it again then.
so we've had a slight change of plan. We were originally going to have a wall here to protect the shelf that we're having here, but just trying to picture how it was going to look because you sort of want the wall to be as high as a tile so you don't have tiles right up here. Let me go the other side, cut really. Show you what it so originally, I was, I was, in my head, it was going to be a wall like this, exactly the same size, but then that really does shut it down quite a bit. Then we talked about having like a half wall, but then you sort of either want it out here, which sort of looks a bit weird, it's not as high, but we settled for no wall. For now. For now. And then we're going to see what room we've got, because we're having a cupboard here for the washing machine, literally up to this side of the window and then obviously you've got a window so there's going to be sort of something below here but we'll figure something out at a later date that's not that important. As you can see it's getting a bit dark but we've cut Right, cut the six mil tile board and we're going to sandwich the CS board in between it. I'm happy with that square there. Do you want to glue it or not? Huh? Do you want no, I don't think the glue is going to do a lot. To be morning back on the boat again today last day of the week we are gonna make a start on the tiling but first I think we're gonna put up the other back of board up here in order to put the stainless steel that we have up is that right yeah hopefully by the time we've put that up my mum and dad will be here and we're gonna rope them into a bit of tiling they don't know yet but that's probably told a few more bits than I have mm -hmm. before actually I've never tiled anything in my life <laughs> I didn't even do the van. You and Dad did that, didn't you? Your or Dad da did it. Dad did that. <laughs> <laughs> also, so as you can see, there's quite a big gap here due to all of the layers. Mm -hmm. Safety first. And as Joe said before, we need to build a little like step or whatever for it to fall down. Yeah. Um, Joe's planted the seed now and we're going to have to find some. I want some pink marble. So if anyone knows of any off cuts or worktops that are going for sale in the area, then that's no. <laughs> Quite niche, but. You never know. You never know. Uh, right, first things first, tile back our board. Let's cut no, it. Cut it to the size of the stainless. Might not do it along that line, aren't we? Oh, I did it the wrong way. A new blade. <laughs> you look like your school trousers on. Leave my trousers on. <laughs> These are Dickie's work pants. I think it's because you've got a hoodie on with them. What, don't look right? Yeah. Well, it's cold, mate. What do you want me in a t-shirt? To be fair, I'm the only one that doesn't have work to ever warm oh, up over here Oh, here he anyway. goes, here he goes. You didn't want to film me bringing in all of the wood and all the bits you, today, you? stood you? on the boat and you put it inside. It took you longer to move it from the door to here than it did me to bring it down from um, the car. Joe, actually, I brought in all the other bits, didn't I, on my own? Yeah, you've got a right sweat on. Right. Anyway, bickering aside. Too much attitude. I don't know how to make this time of start. Oh yeah, you're bossy. <laughs> <laughs> someone someone unsubscribed will put the little mess their comment here because they think Danny's too bossy and gives me too much of a hard time. They couldn't bear to watch us, so they've unsubscribed. <laughs> if anyone else feels the same, please let me know because I'm keeping it all on record for whenever. I am I am quite bossy, but I think being bossy is like good manager like qualities. You're a manager, are you? Well, I'm a good manager of this company. Because you managed to get out of bed this morning. <laughs> hey! Alright. Oh, I'm gonna have to snap the whole sheet for this. Yeah. What a waste. Well to be fair, I still get two off cuts, don't we? What would be a better off cut, that bit or yeah, the other side? Yeah, this is a nice side? big bit, that, isn't it? Yeah. 
I can get cramped like this, but. Oh. oh. <laughs> What's that about then? Get me first. Yeah. Just put a bit of um, something behind me, please. Or, or not. So my parents didn't bring their work clothes, which is classic. Almost told them just to go home. But they treated us to lunch. <laughs> now we're fully fueled, if anything a bit full. And Tony can have a go at tiling. Never tiled before my life. Neither have I, really. Right. Right then. And here with Corey Barker, a sales rep that covers Southern California and Orange County and Hollywood. We're outside of Bonanza today, and we're going to do a little training seminar with one of our thin sets along with some hardy backer. Okay, now we know what we're doing. Moisten the surface. Clean the surface first, Clean then surface. moisten the surface. Yeah. Yeah? Anyone used one of these before? Because we haven't. Mm -hmm. You're about to see that. <laughs> we score it with the uh, standing line. Oh, that's what this is for. <laughs> He's scoring the tile with a standing line. I don't know if you're joking or what. Right. Oh, look, you just put the tile up against that and it's got measurement there of how big that piece is going to be that size. I don't know if you keep doing this or will you just. <laughs> or do you then break it? Oh, you've gone. Huh? Gone. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, I nearly oh. fell over because you didn't high-five me. High-five. Right. That's enough mess for this week. Oh, it's going to be a bottle. This is the end result. Never tiled before. I don't think it looks too bad. Mm. No, I've got two guys or not. It looks cute. It's <laughs> already decent in the bowl. Right. We'll see you next week. And by next week... <laughs> We will have the fire in situ hopefully. and hopefully. We've got to let this dry for like 48 hours now before we can grow and we're waiting on the pink, uh, pink pigment. Mm. Right, see you next week. Bye. Whilst we've still got you here, we just wanted to talk briefly about our Patreon setup yesterday. There's a few of you that wanted to sort of donate to the channel and weren't sure how to do that. So we set up Patreon, go and check it out if that interests you at all. There'll be Patreon only benefits, different tiers and whatnot. We're gonna be doing a live on the something of December. 18th or 19th, on the Sunday, I think 19th of December, we'll put it here somewhere. And then we'll be answering some of your questions. If you want to leave it in the comments for our videos up until then, that's fine. Or just message on the patron and that's where we'll be talking about our name and why we chose that as well as our future plans and just general questions that you've had for us. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely drop. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh no! <laughs> we'll get you a new one. Try and smile a bit. <laughs> Not too much, you're losing it. We're just painting it normally. Oh, like a normal Joseph. person. Joseph! <laughs> God, well, you can get told all the paint now. The camera keeps crawling up. What's moving? <laughs> I bet, yeah, you got that loose then, haven't you? Yeah. Oh. oh. So I need a new cameraman. Anyone fancy helping film our vlogs, let me know, because Danny is struggling. What are you going to do? Just call it Just Joe? Just Joe. New series, little spin-off. Just Joe. Might need a bit more at the top. Oh, oh no. not now. Joe, let me do the bit you at the top. You are joking. Joe. Yeah, hang on, mate. Put it on. 